Здравствуй, мама, я пишу тебе сон. Здравствуй, мама, у меня все хорошо, солнце светит. Все нормально у меня, а в глазах не стоит туман. Прошу, Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to the military summary of uh, 21 March 2023. Um, so today, we still have um, going the major Ukrainian attack, but nothing uh, much to say about it. There is no more information. Um, I believe they had to withdraw back uh, after the video that came out yesterday. Uh, in Novoselka front, nothing. Vuglidar front, no information. A lot of battles, but nothing uh, interesting. Uh, Novomikhailovka, it seems that the front is moving quite a bit lately, but I can't really map out new, uh, new, um, new territory changes, so it's still the same. Um, in the Marinka front, Fighting is ongoing. Um, now, coming at the most interesting front, we have in Avdivka front uh, advances that were made today here at the uh, east of Siverne. Uh, they are actually uh, reports from the front. Uh, from there, uh, are saying that basically uh, the Russians are moving towards. Uh, Orlivka and Last, uh, Lastoshkine. Uh, so what it means? Uh, that the previous day attack toward Avdievka, uh, here with these territories gained, uh, were also uh, due to Russians in fact capturing these areas. I'm still not sure about this field, like these three lines, because there is this house here that is uh, controlled by Ukrainian troops and also uh, these uh, these hangars. But I'm quite sure about these ones, these ones, and now also these ones, because now from there they are also attacking. Uh, there is reports of uh, fighting co coming close to Lastoshkine, and also from Orlivka. From Orlika, it's uh, different. The attack uh, against Tepove resulted in Russians moving through this tree line and in this riverbed here. From there, they are now uh, starting to like uh, move closer to Orlika. It's not real uh, fights, but still, um, they are uh, putting mortars and other. And shooting other things like toward Olivka. Um, and now uh, concerning uh, Perdici. Um, so, yesterday, as you know, the Stepov has been captured and there was attacks against Perdici. And uh, today, um, the Russians captured this portion of the. They captured fully this tree line yesterday. But today they also managed to advance, notably in this tree line. Uh, from this tree line, they now have a clear view of the entire field. I'm still not sure about this part, but uh, I I really don't think that this part of the, this whole field is a uh, Russian because I believe it's possible that there is still Ukrainians here and also here. So it's not really a good move for, for Russians now. Um, there has been so no more gained territories around here. Uh, moving up to the Bakhmut front. Oh, it was really interesting because today actually the Ukrainian uh, minister uh, of defense reported that the Russians attacked Pretechne. Oh, Pretechne, Pret sorry. Um, and uh, so you have the report here. I copied and passed it. Um, as you can see, Pretechine. So they attacked here. So that means that they, uh, uh, they control this this uh, 
forest. And if you remember in the first video where my voice is too low, uh, if you like increase the sound, you heard me like saying that uh, the Ukrainians reported that they attacked near Klishevka. So I mapped, uh, I mapped it like that. Yes, I mapped it like that because I felt like I was forced. I did not want to risk. Con contradicting the official Ukrainian reports, but uh, either it means that they their attack resulted in a defeat, and uh, they well they had to they be they be they has been patched uh, patched out. But uh, for this forest, there was also reports saying that the Ukrainians counterattacked all over the north. Uh, and pushed out the the Russians here. That's why I moved back. But today, as you can see, uh, we're back at this uh, map. They attack fresh near there in this forest. So I was uh, right because um, if. Right. Uh, I remember having mapped this forest as Russian once, but I don't remember when exactly. I'm going to try to find the map. Ah, yes. Mm. So after when I stopped mapping it like that. Okay. Uh, starting from uh, last day, I mapped it like that before was the 12th March, and starting from 13th March, I stopped to map this forest as Russians because um, Ukrainians say that they counterattacked around Stupochny, but uh, Stupochny, but it seems like either the front changed a lot, either. Uh, it wasn't uh, that true. They counterattacked, but the advance that they showed were, wasn't that big, or like it wasn't the whole, the whole forest. So now we are back at this mapping today. Uh, they also attacked the Russians. Also attacked the highway, so they still here in fact. Uh, so yeah, a lot of uh, false Ukrainian um, reports, but. Uh, from my side, I uh, had a bad um, Russian uh, information, but it wasn't an official one. But I mapped uh, wrongly this stadium as uh, Russian because the report is actually said that the Russians are already in it and fighting, clearing the, for the stadium. But it seems that from the recent videos, uh, they are not really uh, still inside it or. They are fighting around it. Um, in the north, there is fighting reporting in the Azon plant, the steel plant. The UK, uh, and fighting is around Kromove. Uh, Bogdanovka attacks, as usual. Uh, Grigoryevka, I have no information, no new information. And uh, Ukrainians, also Ukrainian Minister of Defense, uh, name dropped uh, Novomarkov. Uh, they say that the Russians are, mo uh, are fighting and uh, moving closer to Novomarkov. So, as usual, what it means? It doesn't mean that the Russians are in Novomarkov. It means that the closest town to their attacks is Novomarkov. So, not Grigoryevka, not Orikhov Vasilyevka, not Markov. Um, according to my understanding, and uh, the most likely path the Russians took is that after they took this portion of the field uh, a few days ago they now moved toward this this big uh, this like denser forest light and uh, now they have like control over these parts um, if you move around uh, Minkovka they have no real information no new information about this place um, same from Privilia. 
I just know that there is attacks. And uh, live map UA, the Ukrainian Western source mapping, actually shows the road, the Russians to be up until here. But I really don't believe that. Even though it's like, um, well, Western mapping, you know. But I don't think it's true. Uh, I think it's just misunderstanding. They don't actually have like the real. Uh, they, they are not primary source. They are just uh, mapping according to what the Russian minister, uh, the Ukrainians say. So moving in the seven like seven is here. I know, but there is no information. I guess they still fight things around Belogorovka as usual. Uh, nothing new here. Nothing new around this here. Um, if you move up north, there is no new information about this place. So, could mean that the Ukrainians have uh, totally been um, pushed out, like uh, about this area. But uh, there is no attacks reported in Chernopopovka. Chernopopovka, sorry. Uh, as usual, fighting Zawoterny, Lampolovka, Nevsky, Makevka. No new information about uh, further movement here. And uh, going up north, there is nothing. Like, <laughs> really nothing. No new information. Um, or nothing when i say nothing there has been like shillings and all that stuff but i don't report that and that the, i most likely uh, most of the time don't report fightings i will report and uh, especially map out the advances or the setbacks and uh, also talks about uh, attacks if really there there has there, there has been like big attacks not like uh, uh, just, uh, just combats between troops uh, and things like that. Um, so thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see uh, in the next days if uh, I find any new informations. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.